Hello, hello, hello everybody, hello guys. Then today we'll be cut executive corner. This first, let's make correct drop in service. We'll be use next strip first. Always make sure you roll short the t-shirt like inside, not outside. Just to make sure your your client do not get like wet closing or something. Okay. It's just one towel because it will be used right now. Wear and blue tonic. Let's make our Jack Daniels cocktail, yeah? A bit water, a bit Jack and for sure blue tonic. What is smell always good? I like to use with two combs so. And we start to cut. Always check where is this Pareto ridge, yeah, where is the head have a curse. Then we separate the hair. So when I find the parietal ridge, I start to separate the hair, yeah? So not make lower or higher, yeah, then it's pretty important. And I drop down a bit my line, the occipital bone, and back. I never use clips, yeah, so if you want, you can put your comb to hold the hair. I will start my hair cut from the, from the side. I will cut the baseline. Let's pick all the hair up, 90 degree, and I start to move like uh, back and forwards. I move to the, to the back and start to change a bit more diagonal because I want to make back a bit longer. Picking up 90 degree and cross check if you're lying there, everything is equal. I not really take care of this hair around, yeah, because I'm planning fade. So we work with my machine. And I make exactly the same on the other side. I create my V form, yeah. Okay, so I'm connect here on the back my my baseline. Yeah, also cross checking all this. And you see it's already perfectly, if you cross checking with your finger, you will be see it's vertical. So clean your clipper a bit, put the number one, move our knife all the way open. I'll make some type of fade, fade it in close position. Then right now I'll take it out my number and open my clipper. Just to fade it a bit to the beard after. I am add my uh, clipper in position like per perpendicular, just uh, blend my 0 0.5 to, to guard one. And move, move to the back and we start to make a taper. And neck I will be fade down to, till the zero. Okay guys, so I'm finished my clipper work. And right now, I grab my shares and start to work on top and connect uh, my top hair to the side. Yeah, wet the hair one more time. So we will cut top. Always, guys, check the natural parting. Where's the hair? Want to separate naturally? I start to cut behind the ear. Normally, where we separate back and front. I make my vertical section 90 degree. Combat and move forward make good connection connect diagonally to the back then i separate hair behind the ear and make exactly the same horizontal section always create a bit bulk then i need to cross check and Cut the vertical diagonal, just to remove a bit bulk and have a nice, beautiful connection between the baseline and top. And work on the side, I use the, my diagonal section. And on the back, I'll use the vertical section already. When you're doing this, guys, you always can check occipital bone. Yeah, make all the connection from the fade to the longer hair and till crown. 
uh, make my connection uh, to the longer, longer layer. And right now I'm at my grooming tonic, I blow the dry hair and I will start to make some detailization on the haircut. I put middle heat yeah, and maximum dry and, and maximum blow. Normally I'm just to blow dry and hold my side part. And I just to blow dry the top. And after you change you hold the top hair and blow dry your side. Clipper. Right now I'm take a bit more hair around the ear. Just cross checking already on the right hair. Very easy, I just looking on my occipital bone. Take a diagonal part and just blend in a bit. And right now I grab my blending scissor. Never guys like to grab the hair and cut somewhere. Just to blend. I will grab my second comb. It will stuck in the hair. Walk, work a bit with the clipper comb. This line like front a bit longer, shorter, shorter and connection to the comb. Comb more for the modeling. We blow dry one more time and make some detailization on the haircut. Very naturally don't go so deep. Hey guys, so right now we use the Rosal sh shaving cream. Shave neck and lines. Let's make nice smooth shave. So guys, I want to show you one technique. Just take a blade. Yeah, roll a bit. Take the corner out. And I just use my free hand to shave everything around. And for sure, like always, shaving you, you finish with aftershave. And it's actually an amazing smell. Refresh. Let's have some alcohol. And apply everywhere. Make some easy massage for your client. Okay guys, so right now we cut the beard. Rose of foam for soft air. We use my pick comb just to brush it. And right now we use my clipper comb and clipper. Always when we cut long beard, we start from the sideburn and start from the free hand. Make good natural line and we cut a bit the length. So right now we we'll start shaving. We will shave cheeks line, not too deep, and a little bit neck. So one was a bigger mistake with the guys grow big beard and start to shave too deeply. Shaving cream. Apply the hot towel. I'm up. I'm up a bit beard. Yeah. To hold here yeah, and after I open the area to to heating the neck. I take one more hot towel on top. We wait a couple minutes and we start shaving. Make your, your free hand. Never shave skin on top of the Adam apple because it's dangerous. Normally start to shave cheeks from the top to the bottom. Never try to shave without stretching. Okay guys, the cold towel helps a lot to finish the shaving process, the calm down the skin, the closed pores, yeah, just one minute, one minute is enough. Clean some cream if it's necessary. And it's time to our lovely aftershave. 
a bit on the nose just to your customer can smell it and right now we blow dry beard and make some finish because normally after hot towels some hair start to stick it up it's beard balm if you spread between the fingers and start to hit it's become like oil and also it's prevent the dandruff Okay, so ready we finish with beard, comb the hair, make hairstyle. I use two pomade, uh, blue and red one, above the water base. I use on the roots the blue one and on top the red one. Spread a little bit water because water is water working always good. Everywhere. We apply the blue one on the roots. For the top hair, it's a bit more soft and wet, a bit more shiny. After you apply the pomade, you put everything to the side. And after you start to pick it up, the hair in front, up, up and back, and side put straight back everything here. And believe it here is perfect natural curves. We make good finish. This is the water base pomade. You can see everything like perfectly connected, top and sides. 